So here I'm going to show you guys how to add a comic book into your collection using the CLZ Berry app. Like I said, the CLZ Berry app is available, it's available for iPhone or Android devices. Of course, I'm using the iPhone device, but um, it's very simple. I mean, you can go in here, you can just click. Actually, you don't even need to click Add Automatically. You just open the app up on your phone. Um, when you're doing it, you want to click on the scan icon down on the bottom. Also, if you see this middle icon down here on the bottom, you can change your barcode extension. What you're going to scan for with those DVD, Blu-rays, CDs, books, comic books, trade paperback, hardcovers, comic books, video games, QR codes, custom or cancel. So I'm going to click the comic books, and there it gives you the barcode plus the extension. And then you just go ahead there, and you're going to click on the barcode. And it pops up, and it says enter the quantity. You hit 1, and then I'll say OK. And then automatically on the software, on the computer, it brings it up there. And then, of course, it'll come up and say not searched. But on the app, the uh, scanner app itself, you can see that it shows already. So what I'll do is you just do search all. And there it goes. It shows you the comics. So, and it automatically checks the book for you. This is Action 981. It's the Gary Frank variant. So then you sit there and say that. And you can do add selected. And then it pops up your window. You can say what, how much you paid for it. And say uh, $2.99. Where you got it from. And say, I'll just leave it at that for now. And then we'll just click on add. And then it adds that comic book to your collection. So now if we come close this out. Go into my collection. And we'll go to action comics. Say volume 3. Here it is down here. So it's already populated. And of course, everything you put in, in your collection, uh, where you got it from, the price, when you picked it up, of course, you can adjust that date. You can backdate it. Um, it gives a release date. One thing that it doesn't do automatically, which I wish it would give you the option for when you click that add button, is to input the condition. But you can go in and you can edit that. So you can go to edit one comic. And then if you go into, uh, is it personal? person right here there's all that where you bought it from and then you see the drop down for condition it gives you poor fair good very good fine very fine near mint or mint let's put near mint this is brand new you say rare how many times you've read it you can tag it so if you want to add a new tag we can just say um we'll tag it for like i usually tag it like by artists or stuff that i'm tracking let's we'll say artist gary frank and then you just say okay now it puts the condition in for you. So that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Excuse me. But like I said, can't say enough about it. Hey, if you guys are looking to track your collection, I'd recommend this. Um, all in all, I mean, of course, the apps cost a little bit extra. But if you want, just start with the app on your phone and then upgrade to the computer software. Um, it's easy to input the comics without using the barcode scanner. Barcode scanner is just kind of an added feature that helps out every now and then. I find myself actually not using it as much, like I say, because a lot of the barcodes on the back of the books now. And if it's bagged and boarded, it just makes it a hassle to take it out, scan the barcode. Uh, the search feature has gotten so intuitive now that you can just type the title in and go right to it and just add it the same way. But also, since I added it, now the exclamation mark so comes up, shows you that you added the comic, and then you just sync the change. Now it's back up there. It's synced to the cloud. You can click, choose your collection on the cloud. Then you say Action Comics Volume 3. And now it's showing on the cloud collection as well. So, there you have it.